both on and off the track. The steady decline began with his one-to-one -one race in the spring of 97 against Michael Johnson. Despite capturing the 150-meter event, the race probably permanently hurt the sprinter's public reputation as he openly questioned the American's hamstring injury. He didn't pull up. He's a chicken. He didn't pull up at all. He's just a, he's just a chicken. He's afraid to lose. I think what he should do is we should run this race over again so he can kick his ass one more time. Instead of saying all the right things and becoming the toast of Canada, Bailey was seen in a different light, leaving many Canadians embarrassed and humiliated for his actions on the world stage. His reputation has never been the same. Almost five months later, Bailey writes off his car as he spins out and rolls over. The world's fastest man is lucky to walk away without serious injury, but is charged with reckless driving. Oh, I'm innocent, of course. I don't know how careless can one be when, you, when, you, when you're on black ice and, and the car's being out of control on gravel. Track organizers in Hamilton are disappointed that Bailey chooses not to run near his hometown of Oakville, leading to poor attendance. It saddens me to see all the other Canadians aren't here promoting it because, you know, after the Olympics, I was the only one that came back from the Olympics to promote the meet at nationals. And, uh, you know, um, I know there's money issues, and, but, you know, put, put things aside. Don't forget where you're coming from. Further angering meet organizers is the fact that Bailey decided to show up unannounced and try to repair his diminishing reputation. I have no bad blood with anyone. I'm a competitor, and every time I step on the track, I want to win. As this season has moved along, Bailey has chosen to run in smaller meets. Despite winning three of the four outdoor meets leading up to the Goodwill Games, his times have been far from the world's top sprinters. Tuesday, Bailey continued to struggle on the track as he finished seventh among a tough field at the Goodwill Games. All of which leads to the question, are Bailey's broad smile and winning ways a thing of the past, or has the sprinter simply fallen on some tough times? Only time will tell.